Idea Lab, and uh, this is part of our series on the Ice Bear 10, the Ice Cup. And uh, Marcel, about four weeks ago we met, we talked about the development process. At that point you had a rough prototype that you were testing here in the lab. Here we are four weeks later. Can you tell us about uh, where things are at on the sure. development of the product? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So um, we finished up the testing that we had to do here. We did a little bit more um, uh, reliability testing and then we shipped it out to our facility in upstate New York um, where we do our manufacturing and fabrication. A couple of us went out there for um, two weeks, uh, no, one week actually, and uh, we just worked a lot. We focused on the fit and finish, making sure that everything was, um, did any rework that needed to be done on some of the framing or the heat exchangers insulated everything properly and um, got everything looking like what you can see behind us. So um, it got back here uh, earlier this week and I'm really looking forward to telling you all about um, both our cooling engine, cooling and heating engine, and also the Ice Bear 10 uh, thermal energy storage system behind us. Right? What we can see behind Marcel is the IB10 ice storage tank, which has 10, 10 hours of capacity. And behind me is an example of a condenser unit that can be used in conjunction with the IB10 storage tank. Marcel, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the dimensions considerations were when we're designing these two pieces? Sure. The biggest difference that you'll see when you look at either our condensing unit or the thermal energy storage tank is that they're both much narrower than what you would traditionally see in a home. Um, when you compare the our condensing unit to what, what you would see in a house, um, it is much narrower uh, and it's also a little bit taller. Uh, but what that allows us to do is it allows us to fit it into many more corners and spaces that you might have that would traditionally be wasted space um, alongside the house of a, uh, the facade of a house. Um, and what that allows us to do is it allows us to fit the ice bear tank into many more homes than we um, otherwise could using a standard ice bear, standard condensing unit, sorry. Um, now, looking at the Ice Bear 10 and comparing it to the Ice Bear uh, 30 or the 20, right. it is also much narrower. And that also, for the same reason that we made the condensing unit narrower, um, we, we wanted to make sure that it can fit into as many uh, corners inside of your house, um, well, outside of your house as possible. That's right, that's right. Well, why don't we take a look at that, and uh, you can, we'll take a tour of around the uh, both the condensing unit and the uh, Ice Bear 10 storage tank, and you can tell us a little bit about um, the design. Let's do it. Great. So Marcel, here we are up close to the unit. Uh, this is the prototype, of course. How is this prototype going to differ from the final production units that we have? Well, as you can see, as we're walking around it, the um, we had to make uh, a lot of sacrifices for prototyping issues, so we made things a little bit bigger. Um, than they have to be, but the final unit we're going to go to a unibody tank and we're going to be reconfiguring the, comp the final components that we've already selected and locked down into a much more compact unit. And then what are the next steps with the uh, testing of the unit? Um, now that it's back in the lab we're going to go ahead and do some stress testing to make sure that we have our installation guidelines um, pretty much future-proof uh, so that we can meet any installation application out there. Well, this is the ice storage tank, so why don't we take a little bit of a look at the, uh, the condensing unit that we selected for this particular unit. Absolutely. So here, as you can see, um, particularly from this view, um, it really is striking how much narrower and also, well, just in general, what a different aspect ratio uh, this unit has versus a standard condensing unit. These units have been purposely design, designed so that they can be put right next to each other or they can be on opposite sides of um, uh, your home. So uh, three months ago we started this this filming project where we we caught you right when you had the initial design ready and here we are three months later and the next step is we're gonna we're gonna be installing this uh, next week. Yeah we're gonna be going down to uh, well Southern California we're in a home uh, near Santa Barbara and uh, um, I guess we're going to be seeing you there, right? That's right. So we'll, uh, we'll wrap up this particular uh, video project next week when we install the project and uh, look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, me too. It's going to be fun.